the early years 1963-1973. When the Porsche 91 concept was first unveiled at the 1963 Frankfurt Motor Show, it was met with great excitement and anticipation. Designed as a successor to the Porsche 356, the 901 was intended to be a larger and more practical car that could accommodate four passengers instead of just two. However, there was one problem. Peugeot claimed exclusive rights to car names with a zero in the middle, so Porsche was forced to rename its new creation the 911. Despite this setback, the Porsche 911 quickly became a sensation among driving enthusiasts thanks to its powerful engine, sharp handling, and sleek design. The earliest 911s were equipped with two-liter engines that produced between 130 and 140 horsepower, which was enough to propel the car from 0 to 60 mph in around 8 seconds. Over time, Porsche continued to refine and improve the 911, introducing larger engines, more advanced suspension systems, and better brakes. One of the key milestones in the 911's development came in 1972, when Porsche introduced the 2.4-liter 911S. This car had a top speed of 140 mph and could accelerate from 0 to 60 mph in just 6.3 seconds, making it one of the fastest cars of its era. In the years that followed, Porsche continued to tweak and refine the 911, introducing new models and variations to appeal to different types of drivers. In 1973, for example, the company introduced the 911 Karam RS, a stripped-down, lightweight version of the car that was designed for racing. The Karam RS had a larger engine than previous models, producing 210 horsepower, and it weighed just 2,314 pounds. This combination of power and lightness made the Karam RS a favorite among racing enthusiasts and collectors alike. The 911 continued to evolve throughout the 1970s and 1980s, with Porsche introducing new models like the 911 Turbo and the 911 Cabriolet. The Turbo, introduced in 1975, was a high-performance version of the car that was equipped with a turbocharged engine capable of producing up to 300 horsepower. The Cabriolet, introduced in 1983, was a convertible version of the car that was designed for drivers who wanted to enjoy the wind in their hair while still enjoying the 911's legendary performance. In the decades that followed, the 911 continued to be a favorite among car enthusiasts thanks to its combination of power, handling, and style. Porsche introduced new models and variations, such as the 911 GT2 and the 911 GT3, that pushed the limits of what a sports car could do. Today, the Porsche 911 is still going strong, with the latest models featuring advanced technology and cutting-edge design. Whether you're a seasoned driving enthusiast or just someone who appreciates a well-crafted machine, the Porsche 911 is a car that deserves to be celebrated and admired. From its origins as the 9-1 concept to its status as a true automotive icon, the Porsche 911 has earned its place in the pantheon of great cars. For more motorsport content, follow Avanti Motorsport on YouTube and Instagram now.